Hello and welcome back to this new episode. On today's video, we'll be discovering what we call the object model or the active record pattern that is adopted on PrestaShop. So, what is this and what is so what is this object model? It's simply representing the database table into a PHP class as simple as that. So again, I would like to jump into an existing module, which is again the block insurance and clicking in reassurance class and this is what am I talking about. So we have a class reassurance class that extend from an object model and right here we have definition of three or four um, variables that are actually inputs inside the database, right? So we have the ID, ID shop, file name and the text. And also we have a very important part, which is the definition variable that is actually overriding the object model that is defining the definition of that table. So it does accept an array. And for parameter, we have the table indicating the name of the table. Then the primary key that will be defined as a primary key. It's actually the one that we defined here to be the primary key, if you do remember in the previous episode. And we have a multi-language true or false in case you would like to have a multi-language or multi uh, translation plugin. The next thing is really important, which is the fields. And right here, we define the structure of our table. Okay, so for example, this one reassurance, we have an ID shop, we have a file name, and we have a text. And all these threes are actually defined right here. So also, each attribute, for example, text does accept an array as a value. And in this array, we will define some properties. So we have a type, we have the length, we have a valid date, we have required, and pretty much a lot of settings that is not really, we won't bother ourselves discovering the whole list of it. You can just go to the PrestaShop documentation and discover the whole list of parameters that get passed to an input, okay? So let's go ahead and implement this into our example. So first of all, I would like to go to the folder of our plugin or module and create a new file. So I will call it comment product class dot PHP. Okay, I'd like to copy the name because I will use it later. And right here, I will start a PHP tag and I do class dot extends object. Oops, make sure that you spell it correctly. Model, right? And there you go. So first of all, I would like to move back here and just copy these three or four inputs like so. And I will do a private. So just uh, using one of the coolest feature in the IntelliJ IDE, which is typing more stuff in the same time. So this will be private dollar. And there you go. So as we did right here, we could add this commenting. But anyway, if you are, if you have time, you could do that. But here, just have to update the two public, sorry to that. And there you go. The next thing is to define the definition. So I'll just grab all this, because I'm lazy again, and paste it right there. So the table won't be a reassurance, but actually it will be product command. So just copy paste the stuff. The primary key must be the ID command. And the multi-language, we can just keep it for true, for example, no, no worries. And the fields, it must be the exact these fields, four fields. So I will remove this for now and duplicate this four times. And I will use again this feature from the IDE to do that. So I'm just holding the Alt, uh, Alt Shift, right, to do multi selection, Alt Shift. And you could customize this if you want into your IDE. I believe this option is available on VS Code. Also, is available on uh, NetBeans. Pretty much a lot of um, IDE that support this kind of operations. So here we have an ID command that must be of type, not type string, but it will be type int actually. And <clears throat> ID user ID also it must be an int. The product ID also it must be an end and the command will be of type string. And right here we have a list of possible options or types. So int, boolean, date, float, html, and sql, and the string. 
okay all is good seems very well we could just remove this um, because we don't have this validate we don't need it because we have just an empty we just get rid of that one and we good to go